You know, it seems like to me is um like it's just a feeling that is being watched. Like I can watch this feeling of me. Um, well, I was I shouldn't say I'm watching it, but there is a there's a watching of this <laughs> feeling of me. Yeah. Um, same thing as you know the thoughts and all that is, but there's a seeing that I'm not that, but that feeling of me seems a little more sticky. Um, I don't even know what I'm asking. I guess it's just the, yeah. No, that's really that's beautiful. <laughs> and I, I don't I don't know how to Charles. Who or what is it that would be experiencing the stickiness of the me? If there were two me's, I would understand that. How many me's are there? How many, how many Charles's are there? One? One? Yeah. Yeah. Good. So, even good. so, it, so one, one. Okay, the me feel it feels sticky, like 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 there's a sensation, like I can. It's like what you're saying is I can feel the essence or the presence or an energy of what I'm calling me. Correct. Right. Yeah, and you are. It's just that what you're experiencing is not the me. <laughs> yeah it's, it's not like, to me yeah it's almost like the true thing is noticing that feeling but that's not me that that feeling that fault that thing is that feeling like a me that's not that's not a me that's not the truth or good so what is it charles what is it because you can't deny that yeah it's just like a feeling or um can the me feel thing. good can the me feel no right yet there's a feeling is there not yeah good. you could better stop brant uh, labeling it the me then hearing it's right here Chuck, it's right here where the mistake is made. Just yeah. here, just here. You need to see here what's happening right here. See, the, and I'm just talking about the truth of what's happening right here. Yeah, there's like a seeing that that feeling is it's not what I am. It's 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 like false. It can it can be. It's seen by something, but um, can you feel something that's that's false and not there? Could something that's not there and not real be felt? Um, there's thoughts that come up that are not real that can be. Yeah, but you, but but I'm really really pleased that. You know, a lot of your dialogue today is, is around feeling, which is great. You kind of need to land there. Now we need to challenge this, which is what's actually happening right now. Yeah, somehow I can see that. that uh, it seems to me that this feeling of me is, is false. In um, that, what a good. Good. What do you mean by that? Um, Jesus, it's hard to. It's like uh, I know. I know it gets tough, but I'll, I want to acknowledge that I do. Yeah, it's like this. Everythingness is, or it's hard to put into words. Is seeing that, but that is false. I'm. I'm not that. 
that no, helps what, me. Yeah, but what's going on with this energy? Can you deny this energy? Can you say, in all all honestness, uh, sorry, <laughs> in all earnestness, that this feeling, this sensation of a me being present, yeah, is total imagination. It's not even there. If you burnt if you burnt your hand on on a hot stove today, after you did that, could you just say to yourself, total imagination, there's absolute, there's no pain, zero. The experience is completely imagined. Do you think you could do that? No. No. But so I, this, it would be, I guess I would feel that, yeah, that's being felt, but it ain't being felt by an individual me or an individual separate person or something. Right. It's, it's, Good. It's, now, it's, now, it's, good. Now let's come back. Sorry, Chuck. So now, now let's come back to this, the, the energy of seeming me, this energy of seeming self. Apply the same principle. Now what's going on there with that? It's, it's, I'd have to say it's there, but it's, it's not what I am. How do you know that? What gives you that conviction? Because there's a scene of it. Um, what does it look like? A seeing of it. It's more a feeling, isn't it? Yeah, it's almost like a backing off a wave of it and be able to notice that feeling happening in this. Would it be fair to say that this feeling that, that you're experiencing is like that, that you've, you've interpreted this feeling as being your core self throughout your life? Right. Herein, right. Where, herein, wherever that is, that's kind of me as such. Yeah, that's what I'm exactly saying, and it doesn't seem like it's true. It's just okay, just a feeling, right? How much clarity do you have around the fact that this sensation, if you want to call it that? Is not me. There's a scene of it, I think, but it's not real clear yet. That's why I'm asking about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, order asking about it. Pretty, pretty difficult to deny the fact that your your hand is burning when you've just lifted it off the stove. It's pretty damn difficult to deny that sensation. Yes. Right now, I'm not suggesting that you have to do that at all. Yeah. What what I'm suggesting is that this this sensation that that you are or have been uh, experiencing your whole life and have been calling that me and core self, and that's somewhere or somehow where you are and, and what you are, is mistaken. I'm not saying the energy is mistaken. I'm saying the dialogue around it is mistaken. In other words, here's the dialogue. This is me. Incorrect. Yeah. Just, just, just that is incorrect. Not the sensation. That's not incorrect. What is being labelled and called is totally incorrect. Okay. Yeah. Yes, so there's a go on, sorry. There's the feeling, but just um recognizing it that I'm labeling it that I was labeling it as a me that I'm yeah. like, so don't deny the energy, just denying the fact that 
it's it's just me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. if you <laughs> if you if you know that this 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 the I look the idea of me is just a pattern of thoughts. The idea of me is a pattern of thoughts. Yeah. The feeling of me, if we're going to label it me, is dependent on the pattern of thoughts. Without the pattern of thoughts, the sensation or the feeling would, would still be there, but there'd be no dialogue anymore saying, oh, this is me. Yeah, yeah. Now, so there's a little trick that's being played here that has to be seen. Yeah. The sensation that's being experienced is real. It's just what mind, if you like, has been saying about it our whole life, and even whilst we're on this path, is incorrect. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to find why is it incorrect? Where is it incorrect? What's happening there? Yeah. That's like uh, running on uh, false data or incorrect data, data, tomato, tomato, whatever. <laughs> So there's a feeling there, that's true, but the mind comes up with ideas and concepts of what it is. Yes. And they're and they're wrong. Yeah. Yeah. What the mind is saying about them is wrong. Yeah. Cool. Now you need to see the wrongness in it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. That's if, if, if that is just punched through, which I think it did, you st <laughs> yes. it, it should just it, look. It, it it does get easier, Chuck. It does get easier. Yeah, yeah. you've just got to keep turning up to this. And I'm, I'm, what I mean by that is you yourself turning up to the throughout the course of the day. Each moment is brand new. Each moment is fresh. Each day is brand new. It's fresh. Each day, <laughs> this inquiry gets taken on and started anew. Don't let yourself fall into the trap at all of thinking, got that, don't need to look at that anymore. <laughs> Because I'm telling you, if that's what's going on, you be made to look at it. Yeah. So it's each moment, it's brand new. Brand new, brand new. Don't fall into, oh, I don't need to look there anymore. I've already looked there. Got that. Yeah, it's, it's, um, if you can imagine, Is anybody, you know that movie, um, uh, Bill Murray, um, um, what's it called? Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Groundhog. Yeah, yeah thanks, Dania. Yeah, Groundhog Day. So th th this is a bit like Groundhog Day. <laughs> mm -hmm. A bit like Groundhog Day. Turn up, oh, shit. Okay, we'll have a we'll have a crack at today like this, <laughs> or we're gonna have a crack at inquiry today like this, and each day it's the same, but the inquiring changes, 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 more insights that you can take with you the next day <laughs> if you like. Yeah, this is a bit like Groundhog Day. Yeah, In fact, it's a lot like Groundhog Day. Why hasn't that come up sooner? <laughs> where, where, where have you been? <laughs> it's 
Yesterday was Groundhog Day, by the way. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you mean really? <laughs> Far out. I was only a day out. <laughs> That's good, Chuck. Good. Good. There's a, there was a little punch through then. Good. Yeah, there's been... There's definitely been a clearer scene of, yeah, like th all th all thoughts to me seem like um, you know, like we created all this meaning to all these thoughts. It's just um, they don't mean anything. <laughs> like, we created it all. Yeah, they don't mean anything, and they mean everything. Yeah, it's all made up. Um, this is such a paradox. This whole thing is you can't have one without like, the, the other. You can't have uh, non duality without duality. You can't have duality without non duality. Doesn't work. The whole <laughs> you have both, both. And all we need to do is remove this false conception or perception that that, that 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 I am is this personal self. That's all that needs to be removed, just that. No big deal in terms of the whole universe and everything else that, that's being worked out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's like it's not seen by the mind. It's seen by, it's just, it's not seen by the mind. Uh, it can't be seen by the mind, yeah. it seems. Yeah. Something else sees it. <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah, you. I've, ne I've, I've never seen a mind with a pair of eyes. I can't even imagine what that would look like because I don't know what a mind looks like. <laughs> like you, <laughs> if you, You've really got to go there with this. Yeah. My, my mind. Oh, that's interesting. What does your mind look like? What does it look like? Yeah, even that's that... an idea. <laughs> well, that's got to be looked at if you haven't already. What the hell does a mind look like? Can we actually yeah. say in all confidence, I have a mind? the hell does a mind look like? What is it? Does it have boundaries, a shape, a form, mass? What, what, what like? <laughs> yeah. And then someone's like, oh, well, no, but I have a brain. <laughs> All right. So now you're a brain. <laughs> Class that it grabs off. None of us mean that when we say mind, brain. Yeah. Yet there's a. Another concept made up. Yeah, yeah you know. I, I see. If you want to go to universal mind, I'm all right with that. Still a label, but I'll be all right with that. Yeah, that's like the energy, the electricity. So the, the electricity that's responsible for all those different shaped light bulbs. Turn the electricity off and they all go, <laughs> gone. There's no light bulb better than another light bulb. There's no light bulb that's a different shape or color or whatever to another light bulb. They're all just gone. Gone. You turn the electricity on again, and all the light bulbs come back on, on again. And as they're coming back on, their, their seeming personal me identity comes into play again. <laughs> and that... The, the, the me identity believes that it is an identity and that it is responsible for how, what it is and how it functions. 
Well, it doesn't. <laughs> and it's all just happening. Thank you, Chuck. I just wanted to um, make two comments. The first is, I listen to your videos, but I don't make it a point to come to your live stream. But there's just a big difference between the two. And I'm so glad I'm here. Uh, um, good, good. And the second one was to thank Chuck for his comment because... Yes, where is he? Interesting. There he is. Yeah. Yep. Right yeah. yeah. But, I've, you know, I've been kind of seemingly in the same boat where I'm looking at the feeling and I think that seems more real and alive <laughs> than, than, you know, I don't know, but I, I quickly dismiss it. I quickly dismiss this idea that, um, I don't know, I can't explain it, but, but Chuck bringing it up makes me do a double take of it. And I, I just wanted good. to thank Chuck for uh, bringing that up. That's all. Good, good, good. Good on you, Chuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really helped me. We can sometimes sit there, we can sometimes sit there and think, oh, I, you know, I don't want to ask that. There's, there's no value in that or whatever. What it's amazing is someone asking a question. You can sometimes have three or four or five or six or even more people that that it resonates for, and, and, and everyone gets something out of it. You know, yeah. Yeah. this this. Um, you know, it, it's, it is important. This sensation that we're calling me, it's a sensation. It's an aliveness. Yeah. It is an energy, if you like. Okay. It is there. Like, you know, even if I, if I ask you to try and identify where you are, like give me a location as to where you are, 99% of us will go here. Like a location, it's a sense. It's a feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's that feeling that we've been calling me our whole life. And then there's the story about the me, okay, which then, uh, um, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, produces another story about the feeling. And then the feeling becomes the me who's having a great day a bad day, is depressed, is sad, is angry, is whatever, yeah? And then, and then, then it, it, this, this feeling gets identified as being the centre, the core, this is me. And what I'm saying is this core, this feeling, this sensation that we've been calling me our whole life is not the me. And what the mind has been saying about it is not true. Zero, not true. Right. Not even remotely true what the mind has been saying about it. The first right. thing the mind says about it is, this is me. The first thing. This is I me and my not. this is me and my name is blah. And here's my background, blah. Yeah, and then, then we we kind of get in here and we're we, we're told things like, well, there is no me. Try telling that to the to the sensation of a me. You can't. And, and therein lies the confusion that we experience all the time. Like, I've got to get rid of this me. But how do you get rid of this feeling of me? And we don't know how to do it. And then we jump into meditation and we're trying to lose our self in the lose our self in the medi meditation, lose our beingness in the medit. Like it's a nightmare. It, <laughs> you know. I think the sticky point is it looks like I'm looking at the feeling, but that, do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like I'm looking at the feeling, but that makes no sense, does it? It doesn't make any sense. Like, right. Trust that it doesn't make sense. It, Trust I, that. I, okay. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. You're dead right. No, it doesn't. Right. I, I can't, I can't seem to. Okay. <laughs> That's why I was dismissed it before because it didn't make sense, but yeah. there's something there. Is yes, but there, yes, but there's something going on, isn't there? Yeah. So there's another there's another truth that needs to be revealed. There's what we think is happening right here, right now, in the immediacy of now, 
is incorrect. Boom, full stop. It's incorrect. <laughs> Then, then what we do is we, what is it that's producing this idea of now and everything, mind or thoughts? You know, those thoughts that you're not even responsible for, they just kind of flow through. Remember earlier I was saying that it's, it's essence or it's the absolute that's responsible. Try and imagine, right? Eight billion people on the planet, all in the immediacy of let's say now, there's 8 billion different thoughts arising in, in all human beings. Now, that that's responsible for all of those thoughts that are arising in the seeming human beings, like right now, is the absolute. Take the human being to be a neuron. There is no person here. There is the one. Thou art that. There's nothing to lose here except an illusion. <laughs> You're being thought into existence. This is not your existence or your life. You're being thought into a seeming existence. Again, those thoughts that you're not doing. They're just happening. It's not hard to come to see this. Just need to shift things around a little bit, start viewing things from a slightly different perspective to what we've always been viewing it. And it falls into place. What's actually happening I'm talking about falls into place. If, if go back to yourself, your direct experience of your own self, okay? <laughs> if you're not the thinker, who or what the bloody hell is? Because there's some seeming intelligence behind it. Is there not? Yeah. So if I'm not the thinker, who or what is? Oh, what's this teaching called? Non-duality. What does that mean again? Oh, one. <laughs> Frightened to lose the, the finite over the infinite. <laughs> the key is in free will doership that'll get you out of this seeming prison that, that you think you're in Doership. Am I the doer? Do I have free will? Do I have any will over anything? That's not hard to look at. Let's just look at that. What's going on right there at that level? Because we believe we're separate. We believe we're a separate individual that has its own life and is the thinker of its own thoughts. Challenge it. It's not hard. It's so not hard to challenge it. 